now a story offering, at the very least, perspective. Last Wednesday, Texans tailback Ryan Motes, rushing with his wife to see her dying mother at a Dallas area hospital, was pulled over for running a red light. Now, according to Motes and his wife, as the player explained himself, Dallas police officer Robert Powell drew and pointed his gun at Motes and threatened to arrest the player. After 13 minutes had passed, Motes was eventually allowed to go, but in that time, his mother-in-law had died. ABC News' Rebecca Lopez has more from Dallas. This is video of a Dallas police officer pulling over a family trying to get to the bedside of a dying relative. As they pull into the Baylor Hospital parking lot in Plano, this is what happens. Get in there. Let me see your hands. Get in there. Get. Put your hands on the car. Do you understand? Tamisha Motes, whose mother was dying, ignored Officer Robert Powell's commands and rushed to see her mother. But Officer Powell detained her husband, Ryan Motes. I'm not second before she's gone, man. Motes can't find his insurance paperwork and is desperate to leave. Hey, listen, if I can't verify you, listen, 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 so you either find it, or I'm gonna take the car. As they argue, the officer gets irate. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth. You can cooperate and sit it down, or I can just take you to jail for running the red light. We talked to the NFL running back by phone. He says he's never in his life been treated like this. For him not to be even sympathetic uh, at all about, like, basically like weird dogs or something, you know, like we don't even matter. Uh, it just, it basically shocked me. I can screw you over. I'd rather not do that. You have to resist everything that happened. And right now, you have to suck. Twice, the hospital sends nurses to try and get the officer to let Moats go. We'll come here over 30 times. And even a Plano officer who stops to help makes a plea. Hey, this, this is the nurse. After more than 20 minutes, the officer ticketed Motes for running a red light. And after all of that, I went up after she passed. I just held her hand, you know, but she's already gone. Dallas police have apologized, dropped the ticket, and launched an investigation. I want to uh, issue a uh, personal apology and also an apology on behalf of the Dallas Police Department to the family of Janetta Collinsworth. I am uh, embarrassed and disappointed by the behavior of one of our police officers, Officer Robert Powell. He's been a member of the department since January of 2006, approximately uh, three years. Uh, his behavior, in my opinion, did not exhibit the common sense, the discretion, the compassion that we expect our officers to exhibit. Moat says he appreciates the apology of the department, but says he still missed an important moment in time that he'll never get back. Rebecca Lopez reporting. The officer involved, Robert Powell, has acknowledged drawing his gun, but denies pointing it at Moats. And as you just heard, Dallas Police Chief David Kunkel had apologized to the family. He also announced that Powell has been placed on paid leave pending an internal investigation.